Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Body Armor 4x4 Eco Series rear bumper fitting all 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500s with the dual exhaust system. Now, if you're in search of a rear bumper that's going to provide a lot of protection, utility, and of course, an aggressive look to the rear end of the Ram, this option is going to be a great choice to take a look into. So starting off with that protection, this is going to be made out of a heavy duty steel material. So if you are taking your truck out off-roading or you're on the work site a lot and want something that's going to hold up um, and take some abuse, this is going to do just the job. Now this is also going to have a nice texture black powder coat finish, which of course is going to add that heavy duty and aggressive look to the rear end of the Ram. Now what I really like about this rear bumper is not only the fit, it fits very well on the back of our truck here, but it's also going to accommodate for a lot of factory features. Now this is going to come with a cutout for your factory hitch plug, it's going to accommodate with a license plate light, and it's also going to have cutouts for factory rear backup sensors. Now if you don't have those equipped with your Ram, they also provide plugs to create a very clean look. Now the big factory feature that they're accommodating for is the factory dual exhaust system. Now this is going to have a large cutout at the bottom, creating a very clean look with that factory dual exhaust system. However, they do have some added room or they did create some added room if you'd like to add an aftermarket exhaust system with a larger tip. So I do really like the fact that that's going to create a very clean look if you are a fan or have that dual exhaust system. Set up. So not only is this rear bumper going to come with everything that you need for those factory features, but it's going to have added features as well. So on either side, you can see that this bumper is going to have large cutouts, which is perfect if you're looking for a rear bumper. It's going to help you out with bed access and just better accessibility for the rear end of your truck. This is even gonna have a nice textured step here to give you some better traction uh, when getting in and out of the bed uh, or whenever you have to use your bed there. Um, now this is also going to have that cutout in the middle. Um, so really bed access and accessibility is something that is focused on with this bumper. And I do personally like that if you are using your bed a lot. Not to mention you're getting a large cutout on either side, uh, right in the middle of the bumper, which is gonna be used for accessory lighting. Now this is perfect for you guys out there that are looking to add some additional lighting to the back end of your truck, whether that be for uh, reverse lights or better visibility at night when you're backing up or even using it as a work light. Now this will accommodate four three inch cube lights, so you are able to add a lot to this rear bumper. And what I like about it is the fact that it's not going to come with the lights included, which is a bonus for you guys out there that are a fan of a particular brand or a fan of a certain light and you're looking to customize the bumper to your choosing. Now with all that being said, this is going to come in at roughly $700, which is a very average price point for a rear bumper or a heavy duty rear bumper. But in my personal opinion, I think with everything that you're getting um, and the quality build that you're getting, that that's a very good price point. Now in comparison to some other options on the page, this is going to have a little bit more than the uh, simplistic bumpers, including the cutouts on the side for better bed access, as well as the cutouts for additional lighting. However, it's not going to have every single bell in whistle that some of the more expensive options may have. Uh, some of those more expensive options may include the lighting in the kit uh, or they may include uh, recovery points instead of this option that's not going to have recovery points and not going to come with the lights included. However, if you are not necessarily looking for uh, utility as far as uh, recovery goes out of a rear bumper and you're looking to customize this rear bumper with the lighting of your choosing, then this is going to be a great choice to take a look into. As far as install goes, this is going to get a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about two hours to get the job done with some very basic hand tools. So speaking of that install, let me walk you through it right now. The tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, a wire tool, a trim removal tool, a flathead screwdriver, a ratchet, an 18 millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 10 millimeter socket. So to kick off this install, we're going to start underneath our truck, so I would recommend to grab something comfy to lay on and a 15 millimeter socket as well as a flathead screwdriver. So our first step underneath the truck is to start to disconnect our wiring harnesses. I'm going to start with our license plate light on our driver's side right here. I'm going to pull that clip back. The reason why I said that you may need a flathead screwdriver is for that clip if you can't get it back by hand, and we're just going to pinch down on that and pull back. Next, we can remove our hitch plug. So there's gonna be a tab up on top. We're just gonna press down on that and pull back. 
and we can repeat that on the other side for the license plate light. So if you have the backup sensors in your rear bumper, I recommend that you disconnect that wiring harness. And after everything is disconnected, what we can do is remove the two main bolts that are holding on our bumper. I'm gonna use a 15 millimeter socket to remove those two bolts. Then we can repeat that process on the other side. So if we need to use a flathead to pull up that red tab, it is pretty helpful, and then you can pull back. So our next step is to take off our license plate. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket in order to remove the two bolts that are securing this down. So behind our license plate, you can tell that there are two pins or uh, pop clips that are holding it in, as well as two 15 millimeter bolts. So what I'm gonna do is remove those pop clips first with a trim removal tool. and then we can remove those 15 millimeter bolts with a 15 millimeter socket. After those are removed, we can remove our bumper. Before we hop into the install, I wanted to stop down and tell you guys a little bit more about this Body Armor rear bumper in comparison to our factory one and what benefits that we're going to see out of this new aftermarket rear bumper. Now to start off, this is going to be roughly the same size as our factory rear bumper and we're going to have some wraparound protection on either side. However, this is going to be a lot more durable than our factory rear bumper. Now our new rear bumper is gonna be made out of a 1 8 inch thick steel. So it's going to provide a lot of protection to the rear end of your truck, a lot better than the factory rear bumper. Now the factory rear bumper is gonna have some plastic material and this steel material is going to be very thin. As you can tell on the middle here, there is a little bit of a ding. So uh, that would not happen on our new rear bumper considering the steel is very thick and able to take a hit, especially if you're going out on the trail or on the work site. Now this is also going to have a textured black powder coat finish, not only protecting that steel underneath, but it's also going to provide a very heavy duty and aggressive look to the rear end of your Ram. Now this is going to integrate a couple of different features that I personally really like. You are going to have uh, steps or cutouts for steps on either side, uh, which is a big upgrade that is going to allow you easier bed access uh, or hopping up into the bed of your truck as where your factory one is not going to provide that. Now this is also going to have cutouts on either side for accessory lighting. So this is going to to house up to four three inch cube lights uh, and you will be able to customize that to however you want to set that up. Uh, there's going to be a couple of different mounts inside each of those cutouts. Uh, now that's going to add some extra visibility out of the rear end of your truck uh, whether you want to use that as a work light or even as a backup light. Now the lighting is not included in the kit, however I personally really like the fact that they have that option there uh, for you to customize your rear bumper. Not to mention this is going to have multiple cutouts for factory backup sensors if your RAM is equipped and it's going to have a cutout for the factory hitch plug uh, which I personally really like so it is going to retain some factory features and if you have a hitch this will work with the factory style hitch. So 
This is going to come with a number of different benefits that are going to be a big plus over the factory rear bumper. So enough about these two side by side. Let's go ahead and install our new rear bumper. Before we can mount up our new bumper, we do have to switch a couple things over. Uh, if you have the backup sensors, you will have to remove those. Uh, those are pretty easy to remove with a flathead screwdriver. Um, but we also need to swap over our hitch plug. So again, with that flathead screwdriver, we're just gonna push each tab in on either side. Right, and we can just pop that right out, swap that to our new bumper. So on our new bumper, these pins just need to set behind our bumper. So all we have to do is just put that through, push that in and it should snap into place. All right, then our hitch plug is installed. Now we're ready to install our new rear bumper. So now that our hitch plug is installed, we have a couple more things to install before we can actually mount our bumper up. Now, if you do have the backup sensors, you will be mounting those up. There is hardware in order to do that, and you'll be reusing the housing as well as the sensor uh, on each of these sensor housings here. Now, we do not have the sensor, so we're just going to take our rubber caps and put those in to fill up that space. Press that down on in and we can repeat that for the other three. Lastly, we can take our light for our license plate, thread the wires through the back, and just like the hitch plug, this is going to sit into place um, and clip into place. Now you wanna make sure that the light portion is facing your license plate, so make sure that's oriented in the correct way before you push that through. And you'll be able to spin it accordingly. So after our light is in there, what we need to do is make sure that our leads are ready to be plugged in to our license plate light. Now I already have quick disconnects on there, so what I'm gonna do is add a spade connector so we can connect them to the quick disconnect that's on our truck. Now you can wire this up a, a number of different ways. You can wire them directly into the backup light, but if you ever need to take your bumper off in the future, I recommend a quick disconnect. So what I'm going to do is just strip some of the wire casing off. Grab a spade connector, make sure that the wire is twisted and clean. Put that in place and crimp it down. I also recommend that you heat shrink these uh, or put some electrical tape on. to make sure that they are waterproof and secure. All right, after our bumper is prepped, what we can do is mount it up. making sure that the center sits over this notch here. Right. And once it's down and in place, what we can do is head over to the sides and secure it in the factory location. So what we can do now is take our provided nut plate. There's gonna be a hole in the middle. This little notch that you can probably see through the panel, uh, that is where we are going to place it over. Then we're gonna take our provided hardware Put that through our factory hole and thread that into the provided nut plate.
Now I'm gonna snug these up, but we do wanna make sure that the bumper is sitting correctly, so I'm not gonna completely tighten them down yet. Wanna make sure that the other side is secure as well before we head underneath and adjust our bumper. So now that it's secured to our ram, we can safely head underneath and adjust and tighten everything down. So now that we're underneath, what we can do is push the bumper up into place. We want to make sure that there's not a big gap. We'll be able to adjust it that way. And then we can take an 18 millimeter socket and tighten up those bolts. So with this, you'll be using the provided bolts, lock washers, and flat washers. So while we're over on the passenger side, what we can do is plug in our leads for our license plate light. As you can tell, these are just tapped into the power and uh, ground wire out of our factory harness. We can make sure to tuck these up and out of the way. Um, I would recommend to zip tie if you have any excess wiring. We can head to the other side, tighten that up, and plug in our hitch plug. Now we can plug in our hitch wiring harness. Slide that right on the back of our hitch plug here. Press that down into place. Then we can tuck our second license plate light up. Um, I would recommend taking some electrical tape to that. Make sure that the plug is safe and secure. Um, and then we can attach our license plate. So first we can pop in our retainer clips for our factory screws. These are just going to clip right into the two holes there. Then we can place our license plate down on top, grab our factory self-tapping screws, and a 10 millimeter socket and tighten those up. Last but not least, we can take our provided cap, pop that into place. And we're all set to go. So that's going to wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe. And for all things Ram, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com. <laughs>